It's opening day here at Oshkosh, and there's lots of new surprises. Here's one of them. A lot of people knew about the Texas Aircraft Colt, but we're going to hear even more. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Matias Grande. And I don't think I said that exactly correct, but it's pretty close for an American. No, but that sounds good, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So, Matias, give me a little bit of the background about your airplane, how it is this nice airplane happens to be here, and then I'll ask you where it's coming from in the U.S. Absolutely. So, uh, the Colt is a result of years and years of experience from my partner, Caio Jordão and Diego Jordão. Uh, they were the leading aircraft manufacturer in Brazil for two-seater, three-seater and four-seater, uh, and also years of main, uh, maintenance experience with Cessnas, Beechcrafts, Moonies, Pipers. So uh, the code's a result of all those years of uh, experience and knowledge, also together with the ASCM standards and requirements. And um, so basically that's our big boy here, is the result of all these years and uh, a, lot of, a lot of engineering time and understanding what the markets and the flight schools wanted. So uh, this is it. Would you call this kind of a second generation airplane then, springboarding from his earlier designs? Absolutely. So the Colt was inspired in the Conquest 180, which was the best selling uh, two-seater aircraft uh, in Brazil for the, the past years. Um, so it was inspired in the design of the Conquest 180, but it was the methodology of construction, the way it's built is, is different, right? So it's an all, all aluminum, solid rivets, it has a chromoly survival cell. So Brazil, for those people that may not know, Brazil is a very aviation active country. So being one of the large producers of the lighter end of aircraft, of course we know about Embraer, the, the jetliner uh, aircraft company as well. There are many more, yeah. but to be the largest one in a very aviation active country, obviously uh, your partner did well. But you're not building this in Brazil. No. Indeed. Where are you building it? Tell me a little bit of that story, Matias. Uh, our facility is in Hondo, Texas, which is uh, west of San Antonio. It's 40 minutes out of uh, International Airport. And uh, we have, uh, and you were there with us in our inauguration facility. It was a facility designed for the manufacturing of the coat. So every detail about that facility was thought on the production of the, the coat. So we are in Hondo. It's a former military base for big runways, very safe place, and very welcome, welcoming community. Yes, it's a huge, wide open ex-military, so they had lots and lots of room. Not things around you to have to worry about too much, and, and noise isn't an issue, and things like that. Nothing. But not only is the facility good, uh, what I saw at your inauguration at your very nice factory was a lot of local support. Comment on that for me, Matthias. Yeah, well, uh, first thing, the, the, the municipality, the city, was they were amazing with us, great people, and we really wanted to come to um, a community, a city, that we would, we would be able to make difference and be nice with people. And But not only uh, we are be, being able to hire local people and support the city, but they are also supporting us on everything that we, that we needed along the way. And also, uh, really focused, and, and this is it's good about the area where we are, in San Antonio area, we are able to hire a lot of uh, veterans. Uh -huh. So um, There's a lot of ex-military there because of that big base and other bases. Exactly. So we truly believe it's a way to uh, retribute all those guys done to the country. Uh, even though we are Brazilians, we have an American heart, you know. We love this country. And um, also they're very disciplined guys, uh, very hardworking people. So uh, most of our employees are from military or veterans. So that's it's great. So a lot of good background there. Thank you, Matias, for... Uh, how you set up your roots here. This is, I'll repeat again, an all-American made product. Correct. Yes, some of the people behind it are Brazilians, but not all. And the product is completely made in the U.S. Every part, you're doing everything right there in your e factory, right? Everything, Then um, We do have Brazilians, which is the part of the R&D uh, team, but everyone that works on the, on the light sport aircraft is American, so it's made in Hondo entirely. Cool. All right, so now let's shift gears a little bit and talk about the airplane itself. Great. The background's great. We're excited about that and hope you uh, have good success. But let's talk about the airplane itself. Give me the basic description of it. We know because it's rivet, it's an all-metal airplane. Is it all metal wings and surfaces and everything? Yeah, so it's a high wing, semi-cantilever. Uh, so it's all, all metal, uh, except, of course, for the cowling, fairings, and bands and gear, landing gear bands, um, which are composite material, carbon, carbon fiber, right? Okay. Uh, so we opted as well to have a chromoly survival cell. It's where the ballistic parachute is attached, so it provides it, it's very safe, and uh, it's also where the landing gear is going to. It's attached, so it's ready. It's it's really robust aircraft. Um, 
And also we opted to have a dual control, yoke control. Uh -huh. uh, it's something that uh, we noticed back then when we were re researching right, the market. It's not out there. And um, think about that then. Uh, how many uh, people and uh, learn to fly in Cessnas 152s? Almost one, everyone these days. Yeah. Right? And they're yoke controls. So, All yoke. Um, we really believe this for flight training is, 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 is just the perfect uh, features that we wanted uh, and we were able to put into this aircraft. It also has a uh, Rotex 912, Rotex, okay. ULS, 104 horsepower, uh, many people are familiar with this engine. Um, for the inside we have the Dyno HDX um, and uh, for the Colt uh, S model. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's optional for the autopilot, dual, dual axis. Okay. Okay. Uh, the ballistic GRS ballistic parachute system. Uh, also, the custom paint is uh, optional, uh, and the interior, uh, interior uh, leather uh, luxury interior, right? Okay. Uh, for the cold. So this out, one here is a pretty deluxe example that we're sitting in front of. Exactly. Now, uh, by the way, I want to explain. It says experimental because you're not quite done with the SLSA process yet. Could there be an experimental, uh, a form of kit version down the road? Yes, then down the road we, we plan on that. Right now we're very focused on getting our SLSA product out there. Uh, but yes, uh, eventually down the road this is something we plan to. So, first delivery to a customer, could that happen this year yet? Yes, this is our plan. So, of course, we depend on uh, FAA granting us the. Uh, of course, right. right. But uh, since if we, everything goes well, you think you could deliver absolutely. this year? Absolutely. Uh, so our plan then is we, we we plan on manufacturing six to eight aircraft this year. Okay. And we we will very always realistic. be very realistic and honest to the market. We are not promising nothing that we cannot uh, accomplish. And uh, now on the this next phase of the company, uh, we are focusing on production and getting everything right. Again, the the facility we have is designed specifically for the codes. Now we're taking care. With part of the, I'm taking care of the production now and focus on that so we can deliver six to eight aircraft this year and we plan on ramping up that production next year so if everything goes well uh, we finishing uh, ending next year with two to three aircrafts a month. Okay, alright. Well I have looked at the facility, I saw the uh, machining equipment and other uh, artifacts of a manufacturing facility. It's all there, this is not, he's not making this up folks, it's there. I also got to meet a lot of your people at that inauguration and I found it uh, almost a family-like environment, really solid sounding organization. So we wish you all the best, Matthias. Where can you direct us on the web where people can follow up on this interview, perhaps place an order, or at least ask more questions? So you can find us uh, at uh, www.texasaircraft.com. Also we are on social media, Instagram and Facebook, and uh, you can, you can uh, find us there we have our phones with our lines and uh, we'll be glad to 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 have you also in hondo to visit our factory uh, to see everything that we're doing there uh, to see the production line and uh, and also call us we'll be glad to have you there so you're, you're the, the lines are open and you're ready to hear we are people. an open book for everyone all right great stuff you can find more about texas aircraft and lots of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com Thanks for joining Matias Grande and myself here at the Texas Aircraft Facility looking over the new Colt here at AirVenture Oshkosh 2019. The Copper State Fly-In has been bringing aviation enthusiasts in the southwest U.S. together since 1973. This year we are again thrilled to be hosting the Copper State Fly-In at the Buckeye Municipal Airport, KBXK, in conjunction with the Buckeye Air Fair. The dates for the fly-in are February 6 to 9, 2020. We anticipate that the 2020 Copper State fly-in will break all of our previous attendance records. Admission and parking to the 2020 Copper State fly-in and Buckeye Airfare are free, including the two-hour air shows on Saturday and Sunday. So make sure to join us for a weekend of free fun for the entire family. See light sport aircraft, experimental aircraft, ultralights, vintage and military aircraft, as well as action-packed demonstrations. Visit the many educational forums, aircraft displays, youth activities, or one of the over 100 vendors. Copper State Fly-In Inc. is a volunteer-run, non-profit organization dedicated to promoting recreational and general aviation through events, scholarships, and public education. Proceeds from the Copper State Fly-In help support scholarship programs for youth seeking careers in the aerospace industry. We look forward to seeing you, February 6 to 9, 2020, at the Buckeye Municipal Airport, 3000 South Palo Verde Road, Buckeye, Arizona, 